Griffin Calapinto, the Red Bull family right now. I'm gonna deliver him food and his new Red Bull hat. It's like you have it on the team, buddy. Do it. Griffin Calapinto. Welcome to the team, my man. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what the hell is this? Red Bull family, oh, let's man. go. In the house. We're gonna have some lunch with you. <laughs> I'm just gonna finish up my day job and join you guys. No <laughs> Welcome to the Thank family, you. buddy. Thank you. Super psyched to have you on the team. In first place, your women's winner of the 2023 Vans Triple Crown of Surfing is Carissa Moore. And in first place, your men's winner for the 2023 Vans Triple Crown of Surfing is Finnegan Thunders McGill. What? <laughs> say I mean our freaking watches weren't working and that's pretty heavy like my watch wasn't working and nothing to take away from Apple or WSL I mean what they're doing is great they're trying to bring in some some technology to our world but if my watch doesn't work from start to finish then I gotta ask for time like I've I've been used to um you know having the time on me at all times in heats and you know we're fighting for our careers so I hope they figure it out because my watch didn't work from start to finish so that's pretty heavy. My name is Taylor Steele. I'm a filmmaker, founder of Salento Tequila, Human ambassador, and I'm just gonna show you around some of my junk that I've collected over the years. I just can't throw things away, so come check it out. So I was lucky enough to be a part of this HBO film, Momentum Generation, on the history of my friends. Um, we were lucky enough to win a sports Emmy. That was a huge honor, and we were definitely surprised that we got it. Josh, well, this storm is challenging no matter where you live in West Michigan, but it's also creating an opportunity for some fun. 13 on your side's Micah Cho spent part of the day along Lake Michigan, and as he is joining us now live in Micah, there are some people who actually love this weather. We usually get this big, and we're surfing in between the piers, so it's even smaller in there just to kind of get out of the chaos. But. Yeah, it's, it's tough out there because the wind's west, so you have like this 50 plus mile per hour, so you're battling the wind the whole way out. And we we're out for all of maybe a half hour, and we're just frozen up already, and you can't move at this point. So, yeah. 